I was extremely athletic and extremely active my entire childhood, playing uh, every sport that I could get my hands on. I suffered a four week long, slow and regressive stroke that every single day I woke up and I couldn't do something I could do the day before. My career and my job um, and my success in my career was extremely rewarding because I was making a ton of money, I was, you know, working my way up the corporate ladder. I was, you know, having a ton of fun. I was in my 20s. I was living in New York City, convincing myself that what I was doing was fulfilling. I had shut myself off so much from the world in denial of my disability that I shut myself off from the world entirely and completely. But it wasn't until when I found sport that I realized that that freedom and that the, the breaking of the greatest barrier of my entire life. I got introduced to the Challenge Athletes Foundation a couple of years prior in 2009 and was invited in 2011 out here to San Diego to one of their paratriathlon camps. Billy was incredibly helpful for several days, but he really wasn't getting the same benefit out of the camp that the other campers were. I think part of it was that the coaches really didn't know what to do with him. On the last day of the camp, um, I went up to one of the program managers of, of the Challenge Athletes Foundation. And he said, I haven't been out on a bike yet, and I really want to ride a bike, that's why I came here. I gave him my bike, and we rigged it up, we got some pedals off of a spin bike that were, you know, old style clip pedals. I think we actually taped his one foot to the pedal to make sure it wouldn't come out. And then uh, we did it. We went out to the back of the parking lot you know, of the Challenge Athletes Foundation's offices. He said, you know, hop on. And it was a lot like a dad teaching his kid how to ride a bike the first time. You know, I got behind him, I grabbed onto the seat. And so I started, you know, started pedaling, you know, just right in that parking lot. And, you know, we, we make the first right-hand turn in the parking lot around the building. And he's still with me, and he's still holding on. And then I just let him go. All of a sudden, I, I, hear, I hear the words behind me from Roy saying, I'm not holding on to you any longer, Billy. You're riding a bike on your own. And when I heard that, that's the moment. That moment right there. That's the catalyst, that's the light switch, that's the epiphany, that's the everything. That split second moment is what saved my life.